Hello everybody, welcome to Forza Horizon 4, the brand new single car series. I hope you guys enjoy this. <laughs> Big Bill is back for the second video of today on this beautiful, hopefully a beautiful Sunday as this is Saturday night and I just got done recording an ATS for you guys. So, And in that video, I told you guys I'll be uploading another video and that will be this, the Forza Horizon 4 single car series video first video and it's a pleasure to win this car because this is one of my favorite cars of the 2019 year so far and as you know it's with my favorite brand my favorite manufacturer chevrolet as is a brand new 2019 chevrolet corvette zr1 oh boy <laughs> as you guys may know the last zr1 was 09, I believe. So we waited a good 10 years for the new one to come out. And I have to say this I haven't seen one in real life yet, but man, this car is just awesome. <laughs> We're going to go over the prices, the configurations of what you can get here in the real world compared to the game. Obviously, I went with the blue. I love the blue on the Corvettes. It just pops out to me more. Um, so, yeah. The, there are four configurations to this car. You can get a ZR1 manual coupe for $120,000 and $900. There you go. <laughs> the second one is a ZR1 automatic coupe. And that is $124,000. $124,995. And then there's a ZR1 manual convertible, which is at $125,400. And the ZR1 automatic convertible, which is at $129,495. Which is pretty much like buying almost an Aston Martin. Well, not really an Aston Martin, but... You get the idea of what I'm trying to get with, like maybe a lower end Lamborghini and a lower end Aston Martin and a lower end Ferrari if they have that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, I might have to go off the screen here. We'll hide that. Give you guys a... Uh, little bit in depth view hopefully this spins around like it just did if not i'll just spin around manually but um four different configurations um the automatic transmission is an eight speed and the manual transmission is a seven speed so that's pretty neat it has a 6.2 liter v8 engine it's uh, supercharged it makes 755 horsepower and 715 foot pounds of torque a top track speed of 212 miles per hour, which is pretty goddamn fast. <laughs> uh, 0 to 60 in 2.85 seconds. Not bad at all. And I have driven this car in Forza for a little bit now. Like, ever since I got the car, which was just a few days ago after I actually drove it around. After I got off home, got home from work, so... That and the ZL1 1LE, which will be the next single car series video as soon as I'm able to do that. Um, this is the 2019 Road and Track Performance Car of the Year. It's already earning rewards for Chevrolet. In my opinion, personally, I'd rather have this over the 4 GT, um, the Dodge Hellcat, or the Dodge Demon, Dodge Challenger Demon, for that matter. Um, I also rather have this over a Lamborghini and a Ferrari and Ferrari, um, just because of it's, you know, it's America's supercar pretty much, you know, this is what probably kicked the four GT's ass and anything. I mean, it kicked, it beat the four GT's record breaking time. I think at the VIR Virginia international raceway. So let's talk about that supercharger that's underneath the hood. It's an Eaton supercharger. It delivers peak boost pressure of 13 PSI and 52% and, 
and 52% larger displacement than the LT4 supercharger. So this supercharger is a lot better than the old supercharger they had, which was the LT4, which wasn't really a bad supercharger, but you know, it's got a brand new 95 mm bore throttle with 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 flow of air with plenty bleh, with plenty of air into the LT5 engine. It's got dual fuel injection system and it's got 19 inch front and 20 inch rear aluminum wheels clad in aluminum wheels clad in Michelin Pilot Super Sports. It's got standard high performance Brembo carbon ceramic uh, brakes. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all the stuff I can find. Um, I've mainly found all that stuff at Chevrolet.com. You guys can go look at it, look at it, and actually play around with Chevrolet. I mean, you guys can actually build your own Corvette ZR1. And yeah, now this can become a convertible in a game, but you can't drive the convertible, which is really weird. But enough showing off. Was actually pop the stuff as. There's a beautiful supercharger on top of that beautiful 6.2 liter V8. Oop. Here's where I talk about the convertible. There you go. And that's pretty much what the convertible will probably look like. I think that's what the convertible does look like in the real life. But if not, then... Obviously, it's going to be different. The interior in this is actually outstanding. I actually quite uh, like the gold in this. We'll shut the door. Now, the reason I'm not going to start it up is because there's music in the game. I don't know how to turn that off. Unless, let me check. I right, guys might be might be able to hear it. Crank the volume up just a little bit. Not a very bad sound, ain't it? <laughs> Back out of the car. One of my favorite things, though, about the Corvettes, uh, what Chevrolet does is you see they put the Corvette down there on the footstep. That's actually pretty neat, and I love that. You can get a, a whole lot of paint for this car. The trunk does open. There you go. That's pretty much all the trunk space you can get. <laughs> Now, this is the ZTK, or I hope I said that right, the ZTK um, package, which comes with the big wing. Um, there's another package that does not come with the wing. So pretty much, I think you can remove the wing. If not, um, I'm not going to remove it um, just because I actually like it on there. And that front, that front end just looks sick. I mean, I don't know what the new Corvette's going to look like, the C8, but they're already talking about a mid-engine Corvette. Um, can't wait to see that that's going to look like. And yeah, so, first things first, we're actually going to check out the price here in the game. Once we get over there, here you guys go. Top of the list, 2019 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. Speed is at 8.1. Handling is at 8.5. Acceleration is 7.5. Launch is a 9.0. And a braking is a 9.2. Rear wheel drive, like always. And it's an S1 class, 8.95. And if you want to buy this, this is 255,000 250, CR. 
and this is a track toy. So pretty much, if you uh, pretty much, and right here you go. Yep, O nine Corvette zero one, and here you guys go. Seven hundred fifty five horsepower, seven hundred seven hundred fifteen foot pounds of torque. It weighs thirty five hundred pounds. Fifty percent in the front and sixty one hundred and sixty two. So pretty much, yeah, it's making more power. <laughs> And here's the older two right here, the other ZR1s in the game. So pretty much if we were to go filter in the track toys, I think this one would be the fastest. Yep, here we go. Oh, it's got some seat. Oh, maybe not. Okay, maybe I'm lying. <laughs> it does have some stiff competition, but I think I think the only two that we could give it competition would be the Vipers and maybe one of them Porsches and maybe the Aston Martin. But anyway, um, for paint, uh, for paint and all that, um, it does have a lot of paint. And what I mean by that is um, you can have it in all sorts of colors. That's not what we want. We'll go through all the paints for you. And pretty much this is all the paints in the real life too. Um, there are some more. I think there's two other options, but this is, might be all of them. There's that orange that we just saw. Very beautiful indeed. Here's a little bit of red, darker red. Here's another, this is a darker, darker red. This would be the Corvette Racing Yellow, I believe. This is probably what the closest they can get to. And here's the blue I'm using. And just looking at that just makes it look sick. <laughs> There's a blacked out Corvette. Not bad. Here's like a dark silver. And a silver whitish. Then here's a like a flat silver. And then I think it's like a plain white, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, and you can also put on the normal colors. So let's see here. Like you put on normal colors, and you can also put on special colors if you feel like it. That's that, that looks pretty sweet, actually. That lime green. To me, that's lime green. I don't know about you guys, but. I like this one, too. Oh, my God. That looks sick. On the Z28 Camaro, that, the new Z28 Camaro, that looks pretty badass. But, as you guys can tell, I went with the blue. So hopefully the next video will be the ZL110E Camaro. Um, can't wait to do that video either. Like I said to you guys, I guaranteed I was going to do these videos as soon as it came out. You just had to give me some time. Um, as it looks right now, this video will be uploaded after the American Truck Simulator video. Um, I don't have a really set time, so. And I hope you guys can't stop drooling. <laughs> Sorry if I didn't make you drool at all with the car. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful and safe, uh, Christmas. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Um, thank you all for the subscriptions, the likes, and the comments. Um, I do really appreciate it. Um, yeah. So, really, that's all about it. Um, once again, everybody, the 2019 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. And actually, I did want this car in the game, and I'm glad it's in the game because now 
I get to drive an American beast. Well, not saying that all the other cars that are from America are not beasts, but <sighs> anyways, guys, enjoy the video. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And please like, comment, subscribe if you want more. Big Bill is out.